in this next video, I'm going to show you how to work out both the radius and the diameter when you are given the area of a circle. So remember, area is just the space inside the shape, inside the circle, and this is the formula to work out area of a circle. So area is equal to pi multiplied by the radius squared. Hopefully you already know how to do that. So, to start this question, I'm going to begin by writing down the formula a equals pi r squared, and then I'm going to substitute in the information given in the question. So, in this question, I know that the area is 35 centimetres squared. So I'm going to change the letter A, because that's area, I'm going to change that to 35. So everything else stays the same. Okay, and now we have to try and work out the radius. So we're just solving this equation to try and find r. So we have to reverse all the operations around r, the radius, until r is by itself. So we always work from the outside in, we leave whatever's closest to r until the end. So I'm going to get rid of pi to begin with. So I'm going to divide by pi, because at the moment it's being multiplied and I have to do the opposite of multiply, which is divide. Remember, when you do something to one side of the equation, you have to remember to do the same thing to the other side to keep the equation balanced. So you're dividing by pi on both sides of the equation. So on the right hand side, pi divided by pi, remember, when you divide something by itself, you get 1. So, I'm just left with 1r squared. On the left-hand side, well, we can calculate this now. 35 divided by pi, okay, we can put in the calculator. But it's going to give us a long number with lots of decimals. So, at the moment, I'm just going to leave it as 35 over pi, because that means 35 divided by pi. So, that is equal to r squared, because that's what was left over on the right-hand side. So, we haven't quite finished because we're trying to find the radius r. And this isn't the radius, this is the radius squared. So we need to get rid of the squared symbol on the r letter. So the opposite of squaring is to square root. So I'm going to square root both sides, because remember, you need to keep the equation balanced and you need to do the same thing on both sides of the equation. I'm going to square root both sides of the equation. So here, when you square root a square, well, they just cancel each other out because whenever you do the opposite, they cancel. So on the right-hand side, I'm left with r, which is what we need. That's what we're trying to find. And on the left-hand side, I have to square root all of this fraction. So I'm just going to do that up here. Okay, so we had 35 divided by pi already. And now I'm going to square root all of that fraction. Make sure the square root goes around all of this and not just the 35. And that will give me r. So you have to put that in the calculator. So press the square root button and then 35 divided by pi, which gives me, I'm going to write this all out, so we've got 3.3377 dot dot dot. So that's the radius, okay? So we found that distance halfway across the shape. Now, just be careful with rounding. The question might ask for one decimal place or three significant figures. I'm going to round to three significant figures in mine. So, the radius is equal to one, two, three, but the fourth figure rounds this three up, so it's 3.34. So I found the radius. Don't forget the units in the question. In this one, it's centimetres squared for area, so the radius is in centimetres. Be careful, it's not centimetre squared because this is a distance. It's only squared when it's for area, okay? So that's the final answer, that's the radius in the first question. Now, the second example, we're going to start exactly the same way and because we've been given the area of a circle, I'm going to start by writing down the formula, a equals pi r squared. So write that down. Then the second step, just like before, is to substitute in what you know into the equation. So I'm going to change a, which is the area, to 40. Okay, so now we've got 40 equals pi r squared. Now, don't worry about the fact we're asked to find the diameter, and in my question I don't have d. It doesn't matter, we'll worry about that later. First, we're just going to find the radius, r. So just like before, you're going to divide by pi on both sides because the opposite of multiplying by pi is to divide by pi. 
So you're dividing by pi on both sides to keep the equation balanced. Remember, when you do the opposite, it cancels. So I'm going to carry on over here, so I don't want to have space. So on the left hand side, we've got 40 over pi, but I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm not going to put it in the calculator just yet, because I'm going to show all my working out. So on the right hand side, we're left with r squared. And just like before, to get rid of the square here, we have to square root both sides of the equation. So here, when you square root the square, remember, they just cancel each other out. And on the left hand side, remember you're square rooting everything, so it's the square root of that number there, 40 over pi. So that gives us r, the radius. But we haven't finished, there's an extra step in this question, because we're trying to find the diameter. Well, first of all, I'm just going to work out what this comes to. So if I put that in the calculator, I've got the square root of 40 over pi, and that gives me 3.5682 dot dot dot. So I'm going to label that on there. The radius so far is 3.568 dot dot dot. But I need to work out the diameter. So remember, the radius is just halfway across the circle, and the diameter is all the way across. So if this is 3.568, so is this part. So it's just 3.568 plus another 3.568 to work out the diameter. Or you can just multiply that answer by 2. So the last step to work out the diameter is to, so I'm going to put D for diameter, is to multiply this answer by 2. So 2 multiplied by 3.5682. So I'm going to leave that answer on my screen from earlier. I'm not going to round it just yet. Multiply that answer by 2 and we get 7.14 if I'm rounding to three significant figures. Again, don't forget to write down the units. The area was in centimetres squared, so our units for diameter will be in centimetres. Okay, so all that was different in the last one is, well, you have to divide by pi and then square root to find the radius, just like on example number one. But just remember to keep going right until the end of your question. You have to find the diameter, so you must double that answer, multiply it by two at the end in order to find the diameter. Okay, so uh, there we go. There's uh, finding the radius and diameter of circles when you're given the area. Okay, bye-bye.